after four qualifying groups battled it out in the most grueling competition in strength athletics. Only two spots remain in the Commerce World's Strongest Man Final. Today, six more men will begin their quest, vying for the group's top two spots. For five of them, it'll be an uphill battle, attempting to unseat the reigning champion from his throne. Three-time World's Strongest Man champ, Brian Shaw has returned stronger than ever, ready for the fight of his life to retain his title. The intensity is never ending, and it all begins right now. Strongest man hosted in Kasani, Botswana. Minutes from Chobe National Park, one of the most exciting safari destinations in all of Africa. I'm Brent Stover alongside Aaron Taylor, beginning their qualifying round at the Kasani Hot Springs. Group five will take on the loading race. Brent, this grueling event requires the strong men to take four sacks weighing 275 pounds each down the 12 meter course and load them on the platforms. Three of the six athletes of Group 5 make their way to the start line. Hear now a little bit more about them in our Commerce Power Profiles. Johan Els, South Africa. Coming into this, I felt like very intimidated. I had a good cry yesterday. Spoke to the Lord. I came out of my room, different person. I was laughing and I was connecting with the strong man, and it was really a big deal. I sort of proved to them that I'm one of them. The Lord has brought me here to do big things. Next year, I want to come back if it's the Lord's will. Charlie Goff, Great Britain. I've only been competing in Shawman for just over a year, but of each competition I've done, I've done very well in. I didn't really realise until I done like a like YouTube search of what people could do, what I could do. I was like, maybe I should give it a go, start competing. Go. My strongest event is deadlift, giant dumbbells. Well, them two are definitely my favourite. Even Larue, Australia. Coming into a big competition like this, you want to show up fresh. I've always said, rather be under-trained than over-trained, so you can be fresh on a day and you can go all out. Strongman is, is definitely one of your, probably most complicated strength sports that you can compete in because there are so many events that we can do in a competition. This is definitely one of the highest levels you can compete in. You know, we're all humble just to be here. Eben LaRue in the near lane, Charlie Goff in the middle, Johan Els in the far lane. Johan Els, the first out of the gate with a really impressive performance here. Oh, but a costly bobble there. Transitions are the key in this event, and that's going to cost him some time. Four sacks, 275 pounds each, and now he seems to have gained the correct momentum here. You see how much backward lean he has using that extensor strength to be able to keep that bag upright. He seems to have found his dude is making up really good time. Else on the third set. One more to go for him. Even LaRue in the closest lane one, dropping his sack. Here's Else down the final stretch for the fourth and final 275 pounder. And now LaRue, man. If he's got enough left here. Both LaRue and Goff having to make some business decisions. The accumulation of those 275 pound sacks clearly taking their toll. That's going to do it for LaRue as well as Goff. And far and away, the winner of this heat. 
ingratiating himself with one of the young fans, Johan Els. Johan Els being from South Africa feels really at home, and you see that exultation there after a great performance. That initial early bobble cost him some time, but he recovered beautifully to win this heat. The only man in the heat to get all four sacks. Now heat two of the loading race, and time to meet the other three athletes in group five. Brian Shaw, United States. Strongman's a great sport because it's such a challenge. You push yourself as hard as you can and you find out who the strongest is. It's primal in so many ways. I think it's always great coming back to World's Strongest Man as a returning champion. The target's on my back now. My absolute best performance is gonna come when all the pressure is on in that big, big moment and I have to get it done. I know how hard I had to work to get here. If somebody else is competing against me, I know that they also had to work very hard to get in this position. So you have that respect and that creates somewhat of a brotherhood of guys. And you really form lasting friendships and you know, we'll be friends for life. Mateusz Kieliszkowski, Poland. Van Staden, South Africa. It's nice being here in Botswana, our neighboring country. I'm just basically in the backyard. Recovery is much easier. The traveling takes a lot out of your body. I've always been involved in animals, wildlife. Some people say it's risky, but for me, going into my lion enclosure and cuddling with the lions, it brings a lot of joy to my life, you know? Somebody's got to look after them. In 50 years or 100 years time from now, our grandchildren to be able to see what a lion is and what an elephant looks like. Shaw in the near lane, Kieliuszkowski in the middle, Von Staten in the far lane. Yeah, and it's Kieliuszkowski out of the gates quickly, literally running with that sack that weighs 275 pounds. Brent, I notice here, these sacks are awkward, but Kieliuszkowski's utilizing that knot on the top of the sack as a makeshift handle. He passed the halfway point, looking very strong. Taking a look at the Lion King in that far lane in lane three. Von Staden kind of struggling. Seems to be running out of gas as Brian Shaw looking very strong here with his third sack. One more to go for Shaw, and Kieliuszkowski wins the heat. Shaw down his final stretch. Taking a look at Gerhard von Staden in that third far lane. He's trying to dig up all the pride he can muster. He's from Africa. He'd love nothing more to finish this race in style. That's right. This is basically a home event for him in Botswana, which is just above South Africa, where he hails from. The and winner a heck of, the of an effort. Race from but Poland. the story here Mateus is Kieliuszkowski, who wins the heat and wins the event for sacks. 3702. He's six foot five inches, and that height certainly helped. But he's the youngest competitor here at 23 years of age. If he can build off this performance, his future could be bright. So the newcomer, Kieliuszkowski, takes the early lead with four sacks. Johan Els, another newcomer, comes in second. Returning champ Brian Shaw struggled, coming in third. To some, it's a simple truck. But to our competitors, it's a 48,500 pound monstrosity they must haul 25 meters. The truck pull coming up next on the Commerce World's Strongest Man. The Commerce World's Strongest Man on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by the Commerce Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas Style Entertainment, Los Angeles Attractions. Botswana's Okavango Delta, a remote but magnificent wildlife wonderful home 
to some of the world's most majestic, beautiful, and powerful creatures. Power, that's certainly a word Aaron and I have used a lot in the years we've been covering World's Strongest Man. Yeah, and a man that personifies that is Brian Shaw of the United States. Since winning his first World's Strongest Man title in 2011, Brian has certainly established himself as one of the preeminent strongmen in U.S. history, which is scary when you consider how much gas he's got left in the tank. Well, and he's already won three World's Strongest Man titles. He's the defending champ, and here in Africa, trying to extend that legacy. Meantime, Brian and his peers in Group 5 took on their second qualifying event, the truck pull. Aaron and I were there to take it in, and here's what we saw. Are you ready? Truck pull is very total body. You're driving a lot with your legs, pulling a lot with your arms. And when you're under that kind of strain, it's very hard to coordinate your hands and feet moving it all at the same time. From the USA, Brian Shaw! <laughs> truck pull is always a good event for me. If you're gonna be good at truck pull, you have to pull big trucks, and that's as simple as it is. The Fort Lupton Fire Department, which is my town that I grew up in, I know some guys there, and, and they're uh, nice enough to let me come out and pull the fire trucks to train, and I kind of backed off uh, toward the end of the pull and just kind of let it roll in, if you will. Not much to fear, really. I can go out there and do it. If I can't do it, there's no um, pressure on me. I'm pretty much unknown. You know, no offense to the guys in front of me, but I didn't think that they were very good truck pullers. This is it. You're gonna either make a big fool out of yourself or you're gonna pull this thing. And uh, no matter how hard you don't give up until you cross that white line. From the word go, I pulled as hard as I could. Will I even get this thing moving? Kept on pumping, kept on pulling. Didn't want to look up and see where's the white line. The crowd giving the energy to us, someone screaming into your ear. It, it's as if there's a 10% power factor coming in because someone's actually cheering you on here. Someone's giving you that confidence. Come on, man, you can do this. A meter or two in front of me, I realized the white line is here. And then the whistle goed, and I was told in 50 seconds, first truck pull in my life. I practiced with my van on a rugby field. I just have this homemade harness that my mom made me. The little boy I picked up as well. I just acted in the moment. Woo! And make him part of what I'm feeling and doing here. Very competitive guys here, but I, I sort of proved to them that I'm one of them. Mateus came out and he had won the loading race, so he got to go last in this event. And I was very unsure of his truck pull ability. His form was great. I mean, he, he stayed very low to the ground, gave 110%. To be fair, he got within a second of me. I can't say I'm surprised. He's a very good athlete, and um, I knew coming in that he would probably go through with me to the finals. So far, he's, he's backed that up 100%. Disappointment in the loading race. Brian Shaw wins the truck pull with 41 even. Kelius Koski comes in second at 42.16. Kelius Koski maintains first place standing. Brian Shaw now just one point off the lead with 10. The race for third is tight between Els and Von Staden. Creeping his way to the top of the leaderboard, will Brian Shaw of the United States be able to break into first place after the keg toss? The competition continues next. Welcome back to the Commerce World's Strongest Man in Kasani, Botswana. Group five is at the Moana Golf Course, ready to take on the third event of the qualifying round, the keg toss. The strong men will be required to throw a 33-pound keg over a bar starting at five and a half meters. High mark wins. Three attempts at each height. 
And a couple of guys have already taken their cracks at it. We begin with Charlie Goff. His attempt at six meters, having already cleared five and a half, comes up just short. Eliminated from the event is Charlie Goff. Even LaRue at 6.75 meters, after having already cleared six meters, just didn't have a trajectory. Looks like he's holding his bicep following it. Did he pull something? We will continue to follow that story on the roof. Gerhard von Staden was third to go in his attempt at 6.75 meters. And he's able to clear that as well. And von Staden into the lead in the keg toss by hurling that one right there. So von Staden is in the lead by himself. And here's Johan Els, his attempt at 6.75 to tie von Staden for the lead here in the keg toss. Keg toss is about height and trajectory. It's very important to get the maximum pendulum swing and the proper angle to clear the bar. Didn't have it that time, but again, you get three attempts. Els entered this event in third place overall in the group. Again, the top two out of the group advance to the world's strongest man final. The second round will be complete, 6.75 meters. Johan Erz of South Africa. Brent, the key to this event is finding the sweet spot between height and distance. Els nails this perfectly, utilizing that grip with the proper spin to clear that bar beautifully. So he and Von Stott are co-leaders now at 6.75 meters. And here's Kieliuszkowski with his attempt at 6.75. We saw Els grab that back nearest lip to his body. Looks like Kieliuszkowski is going to use the handles, a slightly different technique. Let's see if it's effective. Okay, okay. Kieliuszkowski over the wall and over the air. The third man to complete 6.75 meters from Poland, Mateusz Kieliuszkowski. So he's the co-leader as well. And he came into this event the leader in the group. Great leg explosion and extension. The keg does hit the bar, but because it had enough momentum, it was just kissing it off the glass. Beautiful effort from the 23-year-old. Brian Shaw will opt out of 6.75 meters to conserve energy. Contestants are allowed to skip a height, but can still only claim the height they actually made. Can one of our competitors break the keg toss world record Previously recorded by Hathor Julius Bjornsson. Find out when we return to the Commerce World's Strongest Man. The Commerce World's Strongest Man on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by the Commerce Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas Style Entertainment, Los Angeles Attractions. Welcome back to the Commerce World's Strongest Man and the Moana Golf Course in Kasani, Botswana. Group five continues their third event, the keg toss. Two athletes have already been eliminated, missing at earlier heights. Brian Shaw opted to skip the 6.75 meter bar to save his energy for the next toss. So here we are with the attempts at seven meters with the remaining competitors. Gerhard von Stad at seven meters, comes up way short. So he gets eliminated at that point. Up next was Johan Els and his attempt at seven meters. I felt really good about Els' attempt. He looked strong, he looked motivated. He gets good swing and trajectory, but in the end, just comes up a wee bit too short. You know what I feel good about, Eric? Brian Shaw, anytime he steps up for the keg toss. Brian Shaw could be the best in the world at this event. He picks these things up like they're made out of nothing, easily clearing the bar no matter what he does. I mean, did he even breathe? He leads the keg toss. The only man to be successful at seven meters because Kieliuszkowski came up next and gave it a heck of a try. Great explosive effort there, but to your point, just short. He misses at seven meters. Brian Shaw now has won the event. However, however, From the Brian States Shaw is going to try Brian to set Shaw. a new world record. Previously yes. set in this competition by Hathor Julius Bjornsson at 7.15 meters. Brian is going for 7.25 meters. Brian Shaw 
as big as he is, is one of the most thoughtful and strategic Me. competitors here. He has a plan with everything he does. I'm interested to see how he attacks this keg toss. Notice the hop technique that he employs to create some additional momentum. Easy-peasy, Brian Shaw, we talked about the hop technique. Look how much extension he gets. That big, powerful lower body combined with his upper body, the rear grip technique. Brent, that would have cleared by an additional one and a half for two meters. He wins the event, sets a world record. Kelius Kofsky, Elson von Staden tied for second, all getting 6.75 meters. Kaz is with Shaw. Brian. You just eclipsed a 7.15 set in this meet by Half Thor with a 7.25. It looked like you could have gone a lot higher. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, to be fair, I was still kind of warming up. I mean, this was fun, fun for me. Uh, not a big challenge, and we've got a throwing event in the final, so that's where that's where I'm really going to lay it out and bring it. This is sending a message. You know, I mean, I'm easily the best in the world at this, hands down. So it's it's a it's a clear message uh, to the other competitors that I'm ready for the final. Well, you sure are. Keep it up. Thanks, Kaz. With two event wins, Sean now leads the group with 16 points. Kelius Kofsky has 15. Elks in third with 12. LaRue had to pull out after injuring his bicep in the keg toss. Next time on the Commerce World's Strongest Man in Kasani, Botswana. With only five points separating the top four athletes on the leaderboard, it'll be a tight race in the remaining three events to find the top two that'll take their place in the final. For Aaron Taylor, Bill Kazmaier, and our entire crew, I'm Brent Stover. In association with IMG Original Content, this has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Previously on the Commerce World's Strongest Man, Group 5 began their fight to fill the remaining two spots in the final. After a rough start in the loading race, reigning champion Brian Shaw took control over the leaderboard with wins in the second and third events, including a world record in the keg toss. His battle will not be easy with Mateusz Kieliuszkowski and Johan Els in close pursuit. But with three events remaining, even trailing Gerhard von Staden and Charlie Goff can find a path to the championship. Group 5 continues their battle now. world's strongest man. I'm Brent Stover alongside Aaron Taylor as Group 5 continues their quest for the final two spots in the final at the Moana Golf Course. Their next event, Aaron, is the deadlift. The deadlift tests the overall body strength of these performers here. They'll have 60 seconds to lift the car that weighs 800 pounds as many times as possible. Again, even LaRue had to withdraw earlier in the Please competition due South to an Africa. injury to his bicep in the keg toss. So Johan Els of the neighboring country of South Africa will compete by himself in the deadlift. Notice he's barefoot there. The athletes like the way that their feet feel connected to the ground because that's where the deadlift starts from the bottom up. So foot contact and feeling strong and secure there is important. Els, a very emotional guy, owns a tavern in South Africa. His first trip to the world's strongest man. Now this isn't a conventional deadlift. As a reminder, because the car is attached, you can utilize your leg strength a little bit more and try to rock it up to get those additional reps. He's at two right now. You wonder what kind of a disadvantage it is going by yourself. It's a huge disadvantage, Brent. That's a great point, because you don't have anybody to push you or drive you. And Els 
will settle for two. Show your appreciation with two repetitions from South Africa. Johannes! Els is 37 years old, and the South African strongman has a background in another tough man sport, rugby, and gives it all he has to power through this immense weight. Brian Shaw preparing for his deadlift attempt. Three-time world's strongest man. He's the subject of today's commerce power profile. I've been able to win world's strongest man now three times. I've been in the position of returning champion. So the first two, actually I was unsuccessful at defending the title and you know, that's made me work even harder this year. For me, I've been involved in sports my entire life and, you know, being in that competitive environment, you know, I took my background mainly in basketball and transitioned into strongman. So strongman, I have a, a crew of guys that I train with. So in that aspect, it is a team. But at the end of the day, when I go compete, I have to get it done. And it all falls back on my shoulders and I have to perform when all the pressure's on me. Still warming up. We'll bring it in the final. Mental strength is such a huge part of strongman. You have a, a pain barrier you have to go through with some of these events. There's so many points in time where your body is saying, hey, we need to stop, this is, this is it. And if you have the mental strength to push yourself past that and to work through that, that's, that's where you really separate yourself. Yeah. Strongman's a great sport because it's such a challenge. It's such a great test of human strength and ability. And that's what has really drawn me and it got me hooked in the first place and it's what's kept me coming back for so many years and having these events to test how strong can I be? That's the question. And you know, I, I don't know that I've fully answered that for myself yet. Please welcome the three times world's strongest man, the reigning world's strongest man from the United States of America, Brian Shaw! Yeah! The man from Heaviest athlete in the competition, Johnny 425 Goff. pounds. Johnny Goff. He weighs in at 353, a crane operator, You're making right, his first ever you know, buddy. appearance at World's you Strongest know. Man. Notice Brian okay. Shaw has a Ready. much wider base Ready. than some of the other competitors and also Go. wearing shoes on his Go. feet. Go. Making Go. that first Go. rep look pretty easy. Go. So he goes shoes, Go. Goff goes Go. with just socks. Go. Old Charlie Goff knows Go. his way Go. around a deadlift. In fact, he's the Go. 2016 Go. deadlift champion at the European Go. Championships Go. earlier this Go. year with a lift of over 400 Go. kilograms, which is 882 Go. pounds. Go. But it's Brian Go. Shaw who's putting Go. on the show. Goff appears to be done. Well, maybe not. He may go for another here. His nickname is Wham Chaz. Apparently, Wham means big in Britannese. He did get a seven. Fifteen seconds. Off is leaving there. These athletes put their bodies through so much. Does he have any left in the tank? Here he goes. Gotta love the effort. He was spurred on by going opposite a guy of Shaw's caliber. Brian Shaw! And so Shaw, your leader in the deadlift with 10 reps. We talked about Shaw being a thoughtful competitor. Look at his chest up, the extension. Watch everything lock out simultaneously. He is perfectly synchronized, which is why he's so good here. He's welcome from Poland. Mateusz Kieliaskowski! So here's Mateusz Kieliaskowski. Two-time Poland's strongest man. Africa, Gerhard van Staden. And Gerhard van Staden from South Africa in neighboring country, Botswana. Making his fourth appearance in World's Strongest Man. You notice those black Giants Pro wrist straps help them hold this bar, which is necessary when you're lifting 800 pounds over and over. Kieliaskowski, the youngest man in the competition, just 23. Decided to be strong man at age 17. Love the way Von Stein is attacking this weight. Von Stein up with his fifth. Kieliakovsky straining to see how red his face is. His muscles are deprived of the ever precious oxygen. Five now for 
Kieleskowski. And Brent, here's where you have an advantage going next to somebody. These guys are pushing each other. Kieleskowski trying to get his sixth, refusing to quit, rocking it up his legs, but falls just short. Does not get credit for that sixth rep. Look at the With eyes of Von Stott, just completely gassed. Heliuskowski gave everything he had as From well. South Africa. I feel like we're losing our breath just watching some of the events. It's indescribable the amount of effort, tenacity, and strength it takes to do what both these men are doing. But they came here to compete, and they're giving it their all. Ryan Shaw has won his third straight event, gaining six more points. Charlie Goff and Gerhard von Staden each got seven reps. Kaz is standing by with a three-time champ. Brian, ten reps. This took you into the lead. But you're such a nice guy. Why didn't you rub it in and do 15 or more? You know, I, I, I really got that. I think I got that done in about 30 seconds, ten reps. I mean, I could have done a lot more if I needed to. Uh, I, I uh, just needed to do what I, I needed to to win the group. Um, you know, we're, we got a deadlift in the final, so this is definitely a warm up, get some blood moving for that and uh, get ready to go. But you're such a nice guy. You're cheering on Charlie Goff and trying to get him to get a sure. few more reps in. Is that kind of sportsmanship going to carry over into the final or are you going to be thirsty for blood? This is Charlie's first world strongest man. So, you know, I feel like it's good sportsmanship to kind of go over there and say, hey, get another rep, man, and, and cheer him on a little bit. But, you know, when it comes to the final, I'll be in the zone and, and uh, I'll have to take it up to another level and be focused on myself in the final. Well, three times the world's strongest man. Uh, I'm not that nice, but you sure are. Good luck to you. Thanks, Kaz. I appreciate it. So Shaw solidly in the lead with 22 points. Kieliuskowski is four points behind in second place with 18. A reminder, the top two qualify for the final. Botswana's Chobe River, the northern boundary of Chobe National Park, which in its drier months attracts enormous herds of both buffalo and elephants, making for a near-perfect safari destination. The magnificent city of Kasani lies in the heart of all of it. It's a city that's been a most hospitable host for this year's championship. It certainly has, but hey, they've been treated themselves to some epic performances of strength and endurance, and Group 5 has certainly delivered on that. The three-time champion, the headliner in the group is Brian Shaw. Barring the unexpected, he will advance to the final. But Aaron, that second spot is still very much up for grabs. Yeah, so far we've seen some great performances from this group, including Poland's Mateusz Kieliewskowski and Johan Els and Gerhard von Staden from neighboring South Africa. But I'd have to think, heading into this last event, the Atlas Stones, that the advantage would go to Mateusz, especially after watching how he won the loading race, which has some similar properties to the Stones. Similar, but much more challenging. So, to set the scene, four points separating the three men vying for that second spot. And their performance in these final two events, the Viking Press, as well as the Atlas Stones, that's going to decide their fate. That and much more coming up. The Commerce World's Strongest Man on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by the Commerce Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas Style Entertainment, Los Angeles Attractions. the Commerce World's Strongest Man in Kasani, Botswana. The next event for the athletes of qualifying Group 5 was the Viking Press, and here's how it went down. So the Viking Press is an event, basically it's a leverage-based apparatus that has handles on the front and it pivots at the back. You just have to press it for reps. Hard to do, simple to say. Coming into this event, I just wanted to do enough to try to stay toward the front of the group. I had no idea really on the other guys what they would do or how they would perform. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the reigning world's strongest man, Brian Shaw! Yes! You know, I came out and went last with Mateus. Poland's put out a lot of great strongmen over the years, so Polish strongmen have a high level 
that they have to get to. And, you know, that's very apparent with the competitors this year. Mateus coming in, young kid, very athletic, very strong, kind of refining things as he goes in a lot of ways. Overall, his performance was great. You know, I was kind of trying to keep count of what he was doing. I asked, actually, during the event while I was holding it. Where's he at? Wasn't maybe the best idea in the world. I probably should have just pressed a couple more because it really wasn't feeling that bad. With nine repetitions from the USA, Brian Shaw. Mateus actually ended up with nine as well, so he matched me. He performed very well, a little bit better than I probably thought. Jump. There's not a lot of guys that, that show up to World's Strongest Man and make the final in their first year, so if he's able to finish off on the stones here and make the final, I mean, that'll be huge for him. I think I could have done more, but at the end of the day, I'm leading the group, and you know, as long as I stay in that front position, that's all I really care about. Ryan Shaw and Mateusz Kieliuszkowski ended up tied for first in the Viking press with nine reps each. Gerhard von Staden came in third with six. Elson Goff, only one rep each. After five events, Brian Shaw still is in the lead, four points ahead of Kieliuszkowski, who sits in second. Only one event remains with double points in the Atlas Stones. Second is still up for grabs. When we return to the Commerce World's Strongest Man, in a tight race for the second place standing in the group, Gerhard von Staten must dominate the Atlas Stones for any chance of overtaking Mateusz Kieliuszkowski. Will he prevail? Find out next. Welcome back to the 39th edition of the Commerce World's Strongest Man here in the wondrous landscape of Kasani, Botswana. Group five is at the Saboba Cultural Village, about to take on the Atlas Stones. And this is the crown jewel of strongmen competition where the athletes will be required to lift five stones ranging from 305 to 440 pounds. From Great Britain, Charlie Goff. Charlie Goff of Great Britain, first up, he will compete alone. Even LaRue earlier in the competition was injured during the keg toss and had to pull out the remainder of the world's strongest man competition. These strong men are super competitive, so Goff is at a disadvantage with LaRue not participating here. It's like going to the gym. When you work out with a trainer or a buddy, you're going to get better lifts in. The same is true when these guys are competing on the world stage. Here comes the third one, 350-pounder. That was an impressive lift that time by Goff. Tremendous upper thoracic back strength to extend. He literally lifted it up and walked it over vertically, but really struggling with this fourth 395 pound stone. Mm, he got it to the lip, but again, that's where it helps to be a little bit taller. A little bit taller and you wonder if he utilized too much strength on those first three stones. He's gonna give it another go here though. Well, you love the effort, especially he's out there on his own, going right up against the end of the clock. And Charlie Goff going by himself would have settled for three stones in 27.57. Most of these strong men do a really nice job through the first three stones. This is what I'm talking about. Incredible back strength to be able to haul that 350-pound boulder. Representing South Africa, Gerhard von Staden! Time for Gerhard von Staden. And again, the crowd has taken a big liking also to him. from South Africa, give it up for Johan Els! And Johan Els as well. South Africa, neighboring country of Botswana, just to the south. And Els is a rookie, and that inexperience is going to be tough to overcome here. Von Staden's been here before, looking good on that first stone and almost overshoots that first platform. Brent, you notice that tacky substance on their forearms. It's extremely sticky and helps them lift these incredibly heavy stones that don't have handles. Onto the third stone, 350 pounder. Von Staden starting to slow down. Nell's picking up momentum, but both men successful through three stones. This is where it gets real, though, my friend. Look at that, both these men waddle forward with the weight of a zebra in their arms. Can they get it? Els is trying, Von Staden catches the lip, and Els 
can't do it either. Both shut out on that fourth stone. Pretty much mirror efforts by both men. Coming up just short on their fourth. From South Africa, give it up for Gerhard von Steiner. Three stones in 29-26 from for von South Stein. Africa, Johan Els. And his fellow countryman Els, three stones in 27-05. These first stones went up pretty easily. Els, with the help of that tacky, gets that second stone up, and von Staden showing tremendous upper body strength to get this event started as well. With the Atlas Stones all but defeating the first three competitors, Brian Shaw and Mateusz Kieliszkowski had nearly clinched the top spots in the group and a place in the final. Only one obstacle remains. Will they break under the pressure? Find out when we return. The Commerce World's Strongest Man on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by the Commerce Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas-style entertainment, Los Angeles attractions. Welcome back to Kasani Botswana's Saboba Cultural Village, where Group 5 continues their final event in the qualifying round, the Atlas Stones. Three athletes have already competed, with Johan Els currently in the lead and still in contention for a spot in the final. Remember that double points are awarded in this event. Representing the United States of America, the three times World's Strongest Man and the reigning World's Strongest Man, Brian Shaw! Shaw is the group leader Representing Poland's Mateusz Kieliaszkowski! Kieliaszkowski in second, the sun going down, the golden hour in beautiful Botswana, a perfect Ready. backdrop for this final event. Brian Shaw, six foot eight, that height really helping him. And Kelius Kofsky's only 23 years old, but tremendous upper body strength has him tied with the former champion through two stones. Barring a disaster, these will be the two men that advance to the final. Kieliaszkowski, on a dare from his friends at 17, took this sport up, and in just a mere six years, has elevated his level of play with tremendous strength and gets that fourth stone up easily. Both men are through to the final after putting up four Ladies stones and, and calling to the final it quits. From Poland, Mateusz Kieliaszkowski! Four stones in 29-89. Kieliaszkowski finishes And the winner second. of Group 5 and the reigning World Strangles man through to the final from the USA, Brian Shaw! And the winner of the group, the American Brian Shaw. Shaw has been strategic throughout this entire competition utilizing just the necessary effort to finish so that he could save all he had to try and defend his title in the final. Shaw won the Atlas Stones easily with four stones. Kieliaszkowski came in second, the only other competitor to get four. Elson third, then Goff and Von Staden. Here's Shaw with Bill Kazmaier. Brian, three times the world's strongest man. You're so calculated. It seems like you know every heartbeat Every time you inhale, exhale, what's going on? You are a scientist of strongman. Yeah, 100%. I mean, the way that I approach this contest is exactly like that. I mean, it's uh, very scientific. It's very calculated. Everything I do has a purpose and a reason. And that's, that's the way I like it. I like to know exactly what's going to happen and how it's going to happen and dictate that. Fantastic performance in the qualifiers. Congratulations on heading to your final. Best of luck on your fourth win. Appreciate that, Cass. After six events, Brian Shaw, for the eighth time, has secured a spot in the final. Mateusz Kieliaszkowski, the youngest competitor this year, came in second, earning his place in the final as well. The field is set. The ten finalists for the Commerce World's Strongest Man have been decided. Tune in next time for a final that will blow you away with some of the most epic events of the season. For Aaron Taylor, Bill Kassmeyer, and our entire crew, I'm Brent Stover. In association with IMG Original Content, this has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports.